Today, we'll be talking about the ECA process, that is the Education Credential Assessment process, and this is done to verify that your foreign degree, diploma, or certificate is valid. This is required if you're traveling to the USA or Canada for study or immigration purposes. And today, the ECA process we're going to be talking about will be the WES, that is the World Education Services. And I have a scholar in the building today to discuss with you guys the tips on applying successfully for a WES evaluation of your academic transcript and also the pitfalls to avoid. So guys, let's dive into our discussion. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If this is your first time coming, you're welcome. My name is Esther, I'm an international student from Nigeria and I share tips with my friends on how to study in the USA. In today's video, we'll be talking about application for West Evaluation of Academic Transcripts. And I have a friend with me today whose name is Christiana. She would also be sharing with you the pitfalls to avoid when applying for your West Evaluation. Christiana, the mic is over to you. Thank you so much, Esther. Thank you for having me on your channel today. And thank you for the opportunity um, to share my experience with West Evaluation and most importantly, the pitfalls. You know, thank you so much for having me. My name is Christiana Eziashi and yeah, just completed my master's degree in geosciences at Fort Hay State University, Hayes, Kansas, in the US here. And um currently studying for my master's for my PhD, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, Mississippi State University. Yeah, so my motivation, a lot of people ask me, why do you want to go to school? You like to study a lot and all of that? No, not necessarily, but I was, I've not, I mean, I still have this hunger, passion, and I still want, want to know more and get more skill set before I go into the, go back into the industry. So, yeah. The main reason why we are here, application for West and the pitfalls. I'm going to share my personal experience, how the mistakes I made and how I was able to successfully carry out my um, West evaluation. Yeah, West is World Education Service. And basically it's done to evaluate transcript from abroad to access it and evaluate it based on the u.s standard or the canadian standard so we have west canada west u.s and west canada so yeah just i'm going to get right into it when you want to or if you want to apply for west um, evaluation the first thing you want to do is to make sure i always tell people this make sure your school requires West evaluation for you to have, for you to be admit, admitted to the university. And everybody, I, I heard my friend is trying to be the West and I want to do West. No, you don't want to do that because you, you're spending a lot of money. So ensure that it's a requirement that is needed for you to be admitted into that university. So the first step is for you to create an account um create an account on the west us on the west plat platform if you are applying for um us you ensure that you are clicking us because when you are about creating an account you're going to see us and canada because west is done for us schools and for canadian schools and for other diff other reasons so ensure that if you're applying for the U, for us schools you are clicking us you are applying for canadian schools and it's required for that school you're hitting canada so after doing that the next thing you want to do is to um, apply apply for the evaluation now when applying three things you need to take note of is the mailing the recipient and the people you you want to receive your official west evaluation now you want to send it to yourself you want to send it to your school and possibly note that all these different um people you're sending sending it to attract more fee to be paid and another thing when you create an account you are given a an id 
that ID helps you when you want to communicate with West. You ask questions. They're going to ask you for your ID and all of that. So when you create an account, you you start your application. Then I also recommend that you download the West app on your phone. I did that because that helps me to monitor all the different processes from stage one to the end. Download the web uh, the, the the West app on your phone. You can just get it on Google or on Play Store or or you know um whichever way you usually download your apps you know just download the app basically on your phone so just so you can have it handy then after that have downloading the app the next thing you want to do is to upload your certificate prior to this time west requires that you you um submit your certificate just the way you submit your transcript directly from your school to west but during the code during covid they started they they, they they started this option of uploading your certificate directly from wherever you're applying for so yeah when you um do the application you they give you their mailing address so with that mailing address you, you send that mailing address to your school because West requires that your school send that send your official transcript directly from the school to them. So they, they, they do not they don't accept unofficial transcripts. So those transcripts must be sent from your school via a courier or whatever service you wish to to um, use to send it to them directly to West. And it has to be stamped and sealed by your school. So, and then also, uh, why you are um, why uh, sending the transfer on the process of sending the transfer, ensure that you put your West ID on the envelope. Because without the West ID, West, West will not accept that, um, West will not accept the transcript. So these are the little things West look out for. And all these things are on the website. So just take, take your time. And when applying out, I usually advise it to, it's a lot of money. I mean, if you're paying in US dollars or in Canadian dollars, it's a lot of money coupled with the, with the, with the, with the exchange rate these days. You want to be as meticulous and as careful as possible. And if possible, have someone else review your application before submitting, just so you make sure that the recipients are correct, the mailing addresses are correct, your phone number is correct, and all the things, all the details you need are correct before submission. So when you um, submit your transcript from your school to West, the next, stage, the next thing West does is verification. So West verifies your transcript just, so to, just to ensure that you, you sent an authentic copy and also sent a verification code to your school to verify your transcript. For my school, at that stage, I had to pay extra money because this, the process of sending the transcript from my school to West at, at the time was different so they, they 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 asked me to pay an extra money for verification so it depends on how it works in your school so you have to verify your transcript then after verification everything is set you can also track these things on your phone like i said you know so after the verification is done west takes seven to ten business days to evaluate your transcript and once your transcript has been evaluated West will send your transcript to the different recipients you have um, imputed, you have asked them to send it. And that's in, during application, they ask you if you want a standard mailing option or an express mailing option. Note that all these different mailing options depends on your pocket. If you, if you have so much money and you want to do express, it's up to you, you know. And also, they ask if you want to track it. Tracking it also attracts some fee. So right now, when I did mine, I paid about a um, hundred and eighty something dollars to do my ap application. But right now, West, West evaluation is about two hundred and eight dollars. And if you are applying for the reports, if you, because they are going to ask if you want the um, West reports, that that West report contains the breakdown of both the grades and how, like everything. So if you if you want. The, the report is going to sum up to about $218 US dollars for you to carry out, um, for you to evaluate your transcript. So yeah, it's a lot of money. So you want to ensure that you're doing it meticulously. You don't, you can't make mistake. I mean, because I mean, I made mistake. 
like I said, when you create an account and you're applying, they're going to ask you if it's Canada or US. At the time, I wanted to apply for US, but then I made the mistake of hitting Canada. And yeah, my application was sent to Canada, was sent to Toronto, and I had to pay a hundred and eighty something dollars for that application. And when I realized it was a mistake and I needed to um, make that correction, I had to pay another hundred and eighty dollars. Um, to, to to make the correction to get a US evaluation, you know, that, that that was a lot for me. That was a lot for me. So ensure you don't make such mistakes. Ensure that you're doing the right thing. You're hitting um, the right country. Your details are correct. And everything is correct. Just to wrap it up, US evaluation is not required for all US schools or for all Canadian schools. Always inquire always make sure that you are very sure that your school your school needs that evaluation requires that evaluation you don't just do west evaluation it's not required for all u.s schools or all canadian schools and sometimes information in their, in your school website might be redundant so you want to really ask you want to ask people that have gone before you or you want to even send them an email to be sure to confirm do I need this evaluation at this time? Just so you, you you don't hear, oh, it used to be it was it was a requirement before and it's no mm-hmm. longer required. You know, mm-hmm. these are some things you want to you want to put post when you're applying as much as as much as possible, as much as you can. So yeah, that's it about this evaluation. I don't think I missed anything, but if I Mr. Anything, I'll add it um, to the comment section. So if you have um, if you have done best evaluation or you have more tips or you made some mistakes um, during your evaluation and you'd like to share um, with everyone, like to share with others, also make sure that you um, put it down in the comment section so that everyone can learn from the mistakes and so that ev- ev- like people will not um, make the same mistake when applying for their ways of evaluation. Thank you once again for having me, Esther. Thank you for the opportunity to share. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Christiana, for sharing your experience about applying for the West evaluation and also for giving us tips on how to avoid the pitfalls while applying for West evaluation. Guys, if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for because I share tips such as this on my channel. Please subscribe and share to friends that you know we need information like this. Thank you for watching and thank you, Christiana, for coming. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned. Peace.